everyone, it's Amanda here. Today I'm going to show you how to use My Digital Studio to create a watermark on your photos. So first of all, open up My Digital Studio. Then we're going to click Create Cards and Tags. We're going to do a postcard that is 5.5 by 3.5 inches landscape. And then click Create Your Own. And go ahead and give your file whatever name you want and click OK. Alright, now I've already browsed to the folder that has my watermark saved in it. If you haven't, go ahead and do that. And we can also get rid of this card bleed area because we're not worried about printing anything. So go over to your Photos tab here, click Add Photo Box. We're just going to make this a little bit smaller. So we don't want our watermark to be that big. And then just drag your watermark over to the photo box. And click OK. Now you can't really see it right now because it's a white watermark. So now I'm going to click to add another photo box. And this time I'm going to make it big enough to fill whole card window. Okay, and then go up here to the layers and click send to back. And that brings your watermark up here into the front. So now you can browse to wherever your photos are. and then you can simply drag a photo into your big photo box. Position your photo like usual and you have your watermark. Now this is the point where I usually move or resize my watermark to however big or however small you want it. I like that right there. So now to do your next photo just go up to insert and click insert duplicate page. Then just click on your big photo, press delete on your keyboard and then drag and drop your next photo. And you can just keep doing that until you have all your photos with the watermark. and you don't have to move anything either. Now when you have a picture that is vertical, just like this one here, you will simply want to rotate it 90 degrees one way or the other in your photo editing software or whatever you want to use. I'm using the Microsoft Office picture viewer and then Simply save it in that horizontal position. Then when you're in My Digital Studio, we can insert a duplicate page, delete the background photo, or the big photo like we have before, and then insert your next photo. And it's horizontal. So after we're done, adding our watermark, we can just rotate it back. Now move your watermark up so it's out of the way of the corner so you can see it, the whole thing. And then put your cursor over one of the corners until you see this little squirrely arrow. Not this one, this one. And then click it and you're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then just move it where you want it. Now, when you're done adding your watermark to all your photos that you need, we can just click Share Project, and we're going to Export Pages, save it or not, your choice. Then 
we then we have the choice to change the location of where our photos are stored and you can change the size depending on what you want to use it for. So I'm going to change mine to medium because that's the size I want. And we've got the location I want. And then just go to change pages and get rid of this last blank page. That's the back of the postcard if you're actually going to have it printed, but we don't need that since we're just adding a watermark. And then click OK and then finish. And it will create the file types and save them where you told it to. And now you have a JPEG or PNG or whatever format you want to use that has your watermark. And that is how you add a watermark using My Digital Studio. Now, of course, you could always create your own watermark in My Digital Studio by using text or stamps. And you just type in what you want. Type in your text, position it, change it to bold, change the font, just like you can with anything else. And then just change the color of the font to whisper white. Click OK. And then you can change the opacity to however dark or light you want it. Oops. Make sure you're clicking on your text for your watermark. And you could also add a shadow too. And then the same principle as the watermark that we already had a file for, just insert a duplicate page and then delete the big photo in the background and add your new photo and export it. And that's how you create a watermark using My Digital Studio. Thank you.